Editing NUS Freebank is actually a pretty simple task and can be used for voice mods as well as music files. I mentioned in an older video that NUS Freebanks are the primary sound file for Smash 4, so without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. There are multiple ways to edit a NUS Freebank. Now I could teach you a dull, boring way of converting an MP3 to an IDSP, then to a NUS Freebank, or we could be a lazy fuck and simply use a NUS Freebank editor made by Gem One Ghana. To replace an existing NUS Freebank, what we want to do is go to a site called Smash Custom Music and grab any sound. It really doesn't matter, and then download as a Smash 4 template over whatever stage, unless you're editing an existing stage song. Then just find the stage and go from there. We then download the NUS Freebank and now for the MP3. Before we use Audacity, go to this link as it will let you export as MP3 in Audacity because for some reason you can't export in MP3. It's just convenient, deal with it. We then want to open it up in Audacity. We then want to go to Effect and Amplify, then click Allow Clipping and click OK. This will automatically make the MP3 at I don't know the name, the bigness of the file. Then go to amplify again and type simply 5. Then go to export, mp3 and you're good. Now we open the NUS Freebank editor and Open the NUS Freebank you want to edit. Click the song in the file. Then click replace. Find your mp3 file and go ahead. If you want you can add a loop when asked and huzzah. You have a NUS Freebank. If this is going to be used for an extra music slot, then make sure to name it snd underscore bgm underscore name dot nuzfreebank. Or if it replaces another song slash victory theme, find the proper name online and rename from there. Now to cover voice mods. Voice mods are essentially the same process, but ten times as tedious. Find and extract the voice file you want, then what we're going to do is open it up again in the NUS Freebank editor. For the next step, you need a program called FUBAR to preview IDSPs and NUS Freebanks. Now we go to the workspace folder of the NUS Freebank editor and drag everything into FUBAR. We can now preview all the characters' noises and lines, as well as know the file names of them. With that, you can repeat the NUS Freebank replacement process, now for everything. Oh god, have fun with that. Well that was Nuz Freebank's replacement and voice mods. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like as it helps me grow as a channel so I can move on to bigger and better content. I have a great idea I think you guys will love. If you enjoy all my videos, please consider subscribing to be kept up to date with my uploads. Have a good one everybody. Or if it replaces another slong slash victor... Or if it replaces another slong... That's a fucking word, tongue twister.